you're tuned in to the Jersey Comic Crew. In this video, we are talking the now confirmed news about Black Widow passing down the torch. What's going to happen? Stay tuned. This is passing the torch. <laughs> So, first thing we want to talk about uh, with you guys is the Black Widow information that has been leaked. Well, not leaked. It's actually been confirmed. So, many of us have leaked talked about both. the Black Widow movie that was supposed to come out months ago because but due to COVID, we missed out on all that. We do know that in this role, in this movie, Black Widow is passing the torch down. She's passing the Black Widow mantle to another character, Yelena. We've seen in the trailers that's that blonde looks she looks fights just like her and everything. She's probably her a, like sister. Yeah, her sister, right? It's definitely grew up in the secret cloning process where they get all these crazy action stars, right? Yeah. So now that leads us down into like this rabbit hole, right? Like what does this mean? But how a place to go. How how is this going to happen in the movie? Uh and how is she going to be introduced into the MCU? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with my theory before we let you just fly down the rabbit hole, okay? <laughs> so, first, I think it's going to happen, like, kind of in passing. I don't think it's going to be as big of a deal in this movie as people are thinking because of this news. Oh, 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 oh. Th my theory, you, you, you do yours in a minute. Wait, de define in passing. Like, hey, you're Black Widow now. Okay. <laughs> kind of, right? She's... It's, <laughs> She's about to go do something, and it's probably going to be, like, towards the end, it's going to be a scene. She's like, listen, I might not come back from this, and if I don't, it's going to be up to you to pretty much be the next person to, like, do all this kind of stuff. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's going to be this huge thing. I think it's just like, listen, I might die from this civil war that I'm about to go into. If anything right. happens to me, you got to start protecting people. And she's like, all right, right no problem. No Strovia. And then... <laughs> no Strovia. Vodka. Take it back. Yeah, right? It takes a shot together. <laughs> The way I think she's going to be introduced now, I think okay. it's going to be via Hawkeye. Now, I can see that. Now, maybe it's within the... Meaning introduced after the Black Widow movie is like New Black Widow kind of thing? Yes, as her okay. like taking up the mantle of New Black Widow. I think either in his solo series or whether it's in an Avengers movie and Clint goes to get help. Because as far as we know, he's not out of the picture yet, right? Mm -hmm. theoretically. It kind of seems like they might face him out. But as of right now, he's still in the Avengers main roster, right? So I think he's going to look for help, and he's going to start looking for Natasha's roots. Either find a journal where Natasha details her adventures in Black Widow that we see here, or he's going to know because of his deep connections with her. So I think, I think it's gonna, he's going to go seeking out his sister, whether it's because he needs help, or maybe mm -hmm. it's just to relay the news, oh, Natasha's dead, right? It could be maybe, something yeah. as simple as that, and we have that scene, and then maybe they start working together. But I think Hawkeye is the bridge that carries Black Widow, the new Black Widow, into the Avengers universe. And like I said, I think it's not going to be this whole big, grandiose thing of Black Widow's like, you are the new Black Widow. Ah, la, 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 la. She's gonna, it's going to be something like... Like, listen. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I guess you're not a comic book fan. I don't know what to tell you. That's, oh, mine's very comic book. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to be something like that. That's my opinion. Interesting. All right. Go ahead. Now, uh, uh, yes, I only, I, I, I only shoot. As I lose through the rabbit hole of uh, of thought and uh, possible theory. Yeah, I, I think some of what you said, I think, has to be a part of the storyline. I think the the parts with, with Clint possibly being around, uh, whether it's in his own Hawkeye show while he's training the new Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, as well as, you know, trying to put the, the last pieces together with, you know, Natasha, whether it's like Natasha's will or like he gets a note, like in case of my death, blah, 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 tell my sister. Um, but I think this movie... Can you imagine, hold great... on. Can you imagine, I have to go, you know, can you imagine sure, if that's yeah. how it happens in her death she gets a letter. You're now the Black Widow. <laughs> Go meet these people. Talk about talk about walking by like two ships in the night of just things happening. Like, oh, I'm dead. You're the Black Widow now. Hulk kind of has a thing for me. He kind of doesn't. You have to deal with that. Deal with that guy. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> when the full moon hits, it hits. But like, if 
my my thing is this movie has you know been under so much pressure not only from itself and kind of being a movie that's coming out way too late for this character that's been around and they've now killed off but it's also like supposed to kick off phase five and and kick off this phase of like hey new movies are going to come out of this this is going to set up a little bit of world building i think Mm -hmm. it has a really cool um and possible awesome epic ending of a chapter and rebirth of a chapter that it could do And and i think that could be in a little bit of what i talked about a couple months ago was is there going to be kind of like in the comics where yelena and natasha like face swap and i know it sounds ridiculous Oh, it sounds crazy. Tell, tell people who don't know what you're talking about this crazy so, story. Real there's quick. a crazy story where in the comics, Natasha and Yelena uh, get captured. I think it's by AIM or somebody, or unless they do it willingly in the Red Room, it's yeah. fuzzy. But they get their face swapped almost like Travolta and Cage in, in Face Off in the 90s. Yep. Uh, and basically, they get their face swapped. So Natasha looks like Yelena. Yelena looks like Natasha. And. Yelena actually comes back to America as an Avenger. They think it's Natasha, but she's really working for the Russians and sabotaging S.H.I.E.L.D. And I think this point of it, if they grab anything, is where it's going to come in in this movie. I think if they do the face swap... So you're thinking the Natasha that died is actually Yelena, and our Natasha is actually Yelena, just Natasha with a new face, and we're just going to fly with Face off! You're, you're, it's you're, amazing. We're, we're having a face off, is what you're saying. It's just going to sound like Nick Cage as well. <laughs> but here, here's where the rabbit hole gets interesting, right? Uh, it's, so, already, it's already weird. <laughs> I don't so know if I'm with you. No, no, trust me, this is going right, to be good. Right, so, as we've been watching press and, and the announcements of San Diego Comic Con and all this stuff, we've been talking about this guy who whose name I, I can't remember and pronounce very well, but he's the black guy who's going to be a black widow. Yes. And he's been on the Comic Con panel. He's been doing press. No one knows his character in the movie. A lot of people I think remember. he could be Taskmaster. Yeah. A lot of people don't know what the hell he is. I'm kind of thinking of a, of a slightly different theory over here. And I think if they take this aspect of Yelena being a character who is completely involved, involved in the Russian Red Room assassin, like her job is to make you think she's on your side, her job is to make you believe what you want to believe um and she ends up really stealing from mother russia and kind of focusing on the the plight and the stuff that the u.s did wrong aka shield and nick fury and mm-hmm. the avengers this could be a different avenue and i think the avenue is if this guy is taskmaster that's awesome but what if he's someone different or someone we know more what if Success. he's like what if he's nick fury jr and he's someone in that oh. aspect where it's like, my dad did all of this, and I don't agree with any of it. And he creates new shield? And he, well, not even a shield, but he creates kind of this his own task force with, as Taskmaster. He takes on this persona okay. and uses Yelena uh, to kind of, Yelena looking like Natasha, to kind of infiltrate. And maybe it's not even about shield and, and, and fury. Maybe it's about the scroll. Maybe it's about figuring out who's a scroll and who's not because the U.S. screwed it up and now they're all over the planet and we're tracking them and no one believes us. So Maybe Nick Fury Jr. is going to basically say, hey, Dad, you messed up and look at this if he's Nick Fury Jr. Okay. That's my that's my big theory involving Black Widow because I don't necessarily think they're going to do the face swap. If they do I, the would, face I would swap, hope not. That's just it's too, it's too comic book-y, swap, yeah. you know what I mean? It, it is too comic book-y, and that's, that's one of the things where it's like, you look at the storyline, you're like, okay, this is part of the story where it details what the focus is could be awesome, right? So, you're if, thinking if she gets a, recruited a, a, as a Black Widow for Taskmaster's Task Force. I think who's she related to Nick Fury. the mantle of Black Widow, and in, like, in Natasha's mind, right? Because this is obviously, like, before the events of Endgame. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's going to be one of those where Natasha They, they like it's gonna be like this movie is going to be a celebration of the character, right? So they're gonna Correct. they're gonna explain to us and try to make us think why the Avengers need a character like Natasha. Mm-hmm. Why is she? Why is the Black Widow essential for the Avengers? Otherwise, this movie doesn't need to be made at all. So uh, if they want to make you think that you know and believe that Natasha or some type of Black Widow is essential, 
there, the Elaine is going to have to be that character to be like, yes, I'm essential, but my motives are not for what you think they are. Oh, um, so I she's like an evil. Like, almost, she's like the a more of an antagonist, more of an evil yeah. widow, essentially. Yeah, and maybe working with Taskmaster. Who knows? Maybe Elena is Taskmaster in the movie. We don't even know. I um, I still ah. Uh, I have no idea, I, but I think it's I think it's this guy who no one knows who he is, and I think there's a chance he's also Nick Fury Jr., um, who is like, you know, badass and screw my dad, and he he screwed up everything, and the scrolls are here, and he's not even here. He's off in space, trying to pretend like he's like you know, shield in space, and Sword could be popping up too. Um, I think but, Sword's definitely a uh, thing that's happening. I, th- I think Fury's making Sword out there. I think so too. Uh, I, I like think, these. I, I like these theories. I I think so, but I think I think the Elena story, right? This is at at its core. This movie is basically a spy movie, right? It's, yeah. It's it's gonna have twists and turns and things you didn't see. It's gonna have you know plot lines, kind of like a little bit of Knives Out should be in this, right? Great movie. A little bit of you know a little bit of uh, you know James Bond ish stuff going on. So so all in all, that entailed in time, the Elena is gonna be a lot bigger and probably sticking around a lot longer. A lot more than a lot of people think, uh, more so than just like a one and done power. Now, so we'll see where that goes. Now, do you think this movie, with this revelation that we're going to get a new Black Widow in this, does this bump your expectations and anticipation of this movie? Are you more hyped? Now, this is a movie that, you know. Fans and people out there have argued back and forth. We might not need this movie. It's too late. Oh, this is before, you know, everything that just happened. Why do we even care about it? And then we find all these bits and pieces of information. Like, oh, but this is cool. I'm liking it. Like, and now with COVID, people, are, I think, are just desperate for entertainment. So, like, they're very excited for this. But does this little piece of news change anything for you? It does a little bit. Um, it. it- in the beginning, when I heard about it, and I was like, "Oh, is this confirmed, or is this rumor, is this conjecture? What is it?" I kind of, I kind of thought of like, "Wow, like they're replaced instead of just kind of killing her off and letting her be dead and letting her sacrifice mean something, they're kind of pushing like this is this might be a little soon or like a little quick of, of just doing a legacy character this fast." Um, but it, it depends on the plot, right? I, I think it's hard to judge. Again, don't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a movie by the title before you see it. Um, obviously it's been delayed for November right now Mm -hmm. and with COVID and everything going on, everything's delayed, everything's slowed up, but I think it could be a movie we really need based on not so much the main story, like we've kind of talked about in the past where it's like, oh, this is a kind of coup de grace for Natasha and and, and all this stuff, but more of a, a background of like, this movie's needed because all these tendrils just came out of this movie and are affecting the MCU in different ways, whether it's, you know, a scroll war that isn't an Avengers movie um, or, you know, a, a, a secret invasion that isn't a necessarily an Avengers movie. It could technically be a Black Widow 2 or, or something to do with Nick Fury in space with his scroll team and, and Eternal. I think for me, this movie, after hearing this, my anticipation definitely has grown. I think that's an obvious statement for most of uh, MCU fans out there. And like you said, the possibilities is what really is getting to me, right? Like, we're running with the idea and going for it. Like, that's the core of all fandom, Star Wars, comics. Like, what yeah. happens next, right? The adventure of what happens next. And with this yeah. one, like, within the MCU, we kind of have different genres of film, right? We have action, we have spy, we have thriller, we have comedy. And, like, this is developing that spy thriller that was first established with uh, Winter Soldier, right? So, like, this is expanding yeah. that, and I think this is allowing for more of those movies to come into play. Like you said, maybe Black Widow 2 dealing with all different tendrils. So yeah. I'm really excited for this. Um, yeah, me too. I think it's time that we move on 